China's economy is in bad shape and could stay the way for a while. China is beset by severe economic problems. Growth has stalled, youth unemployment is at record high. The housing market is collapsing and companies are struggling with recurring supply chain headaches. The world's second biggest economy is grappling with the impact of severe drought and its vast real estate sector is suffering the consequences of running up too much debt. But the situation is being made much worse by Beijing adherence to a rigid zero COVID policy and there's no sign that's going to change this year. Within the past two weeks, eight mega cities have gone into full or partial lockdowns. Together, these vital centers of manufacturing and transport are home to 127 million people. Nationwide, at least 74 cities have been closed off since late August, affecting more than 330 million residents, according to CNN. Calculations based on government statistics, Goldman Sachs last week estimated that cities impacted by lockdowns account of China's gross domestic product. Second news, so this is about Europe. Queen Elizabeth Britain faces first day in more than 70 years without its queen as country mourns. Britain is coming terms with a new era without Queen Elizabeth II at its helm as people around the country and the world mourn the death of the monarch. Tributes have poured in from across the globe of Elizabeth who died at age 96 after the longest reign in British history, a seven-decade period during which she oversaw the last throes of the British Empire, welcome 15 prime ministers, and dramatically modernized the monarchy. The Queen's eldest son, Charles, who has become King Charles III, will return to London on Friday after spending the night at Balmoral Castle in Scotland, where his mother died. As the United Kingdom goes into a period of national mourning, the coming hours and days will see an itinerary of events to honor her life and guide the transition ahead. But her passing leaves a void for the UK at the time of steep challenges amid the change in political leadership and the looming economic recession. Through though Britons rarely look to the monarchy of for political leadership, Elizabeth has been a steady presence, highly esteemed by many throughout decades of significant change that saw Britain from a war-weary declining power into a modern multicultural state.